Oh yes, my people, this is Smart Okosin TV show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are going to give the latest update concerning what is going on in Biafra land. Today is another special, special update. Please, 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 as you are about to watch this video, like, subscribe, and click the notification button for more of our video coming up. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Breaking news. Zoo Janjaweed army at the brink of collapse as many soldiers resign after being demoralized by the Biafra Defense Forces. Here are the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome once again to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is the of October 2024 and I have some very important information for every one of you listening to my voice right now from where you are all over the world. Dear friends and lovers of freedom, I want you to pay very good attention to this very news because it's very, very important, I can assure you, my people. The Janjaweed military of the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom, Nigeria, is currently at the brink of collapse, complete collapse. <laughs> I will show you a lot of things during the course of this very broadcast and I want you to stay tuned because I am very very certain that this is the kind of broadcast every lover of freedom, especially the Biafrans at large, would like to enjoy. So stay tuned while I take you through the news and as you can see on your screen, I will be reading this very news from Punch Newspaper Nigeria, one of the zoo media platforms. And according to their title, they said, Army begins enlisting ex soldiers to bridge manpower shortfall. Hey, <laughs> you did not understand this. You don't know the grave consequences of this action. Enlisting the ex soldiers in order to bridge manpower. Remember that no sane person, as it stands today, no sane individual will like to join either nigeria army police air force navy or whatsoever what have you no sane individual would like to do that now do you know enlisting ex-soldiers first of all what did they do for them to either be expelled from you know military job or resign from military job what did they do and what if they were brutally or illegally expelled from the military now you are bringing them back with that bitterness in heart <laughs> you don't know the you know the gravity of the and the consequences of this very act but <laughs> let us read this very news in details there are indications that the nigeria army may be currently experiencing an acute shortage of manpower due to the high number of those who voluntarily retired. It was gathered that one of the units badly hit by the development was the Mechanical Engineering Corps. <laughs> wow! We have told Biafran people, Biafran men and women who are serving in the Zoo Janjawi terrorist army to resign with immediate effect. And guess what? The moment they resign, the Janjawi terrorist army is currently lacking men in the, you know, mechanical engineering corps unit. It is happening live and direct. Who else? Who else will do it? <laughs> Who will be mechanical engineer if not the Igbos? If not the Afrans? Who else will do it? Who else will manufacture? Who else will bring ideas to build armored cars? Who else will bring ideas to manufacture Obunigwe and other kinds of assault, you know, or sophisticated weapons? Who will bring the ideas if not the Biafran people? He said, I challenge you, show me one person from Yoruba or one person from Ugwawosa 
that will do it if not Biafran people, which we have already done in the past. <laughs> now they said, the punch has reported that over 1,008 soldiers resigned from the Nigeria army in the last four years. Is a lie. <laughs> over 1,800, uh, 1,008 is a lie. Is a typical lie. The Zoo Janjaweed military, or should I say military barracks, are empty. <laughs> empty. Completely empty. What do you mean by 1,008 uh, soldiers? Is a lie. Only the Biafran soldiers that have resigned already since 2020 to 2024, when Mazenam Dekano made that call, when Mazenam Dekano called on Biafran soldiers serving under the Zoo terrorist army to resign, I'm telling you to today, more than you know, 10,000 soldiers from Biafra land have all resigned. The little ones that you see there today are either those who do no longer have hope of survival if not the corruption in the army or you know their top you know their top mili uh, military officers from biafra territory who are gaining so much from the army other genuine ones who joined the military to serve genuinely from their heart and they are from biafra land have all resigned i'm telling you i know what i'm saying i'm telling you the truth now they said According to the report, in 2023, the Nigeria Army approved the retirement of no fewer than 59 soldiers. Imagine. <laughs> we gave the news of over 750 soldiers that resigned in the year 2021. In the year 2021, we gave the report, authentic report, which was also carried by some zoo media platforms, major zoo media platforms. And here you are telling me in 2023, uh, more than 59 soldiers resigned. What do you mean? Who are you deceiving? Well, what do you expect when you are reading from a zoo media? They will always protect the so-called integrity of the zoo. Now, earlier in 2022, a total of 261 soldiers resigned. In 2021, 127 resigned. And 365 resigned in 2020. In August this year, 196 soldiers resigned from the army. Reacting to the report, the army spokesperson, Major General Onye Mwachuku, said the service was by conscription. Okay, now. <laughs> they continued. However, to fill the vacancy, it was gathered that the army was planning to re-engage discharged soldiers. In a memo dated October 16, 2024, a copy of which was obtained by our correspondent, the Mechanical Corps lamented that huge number of soldiers resigned from the unit. Why wouldn't they resign? The memo signed by Lieutenant Colonel A. Muhammad urged all commanding officers to reach out to discharged soldiers in the area of responsibility. <laughs> we know they do it again. Is it by force? It partly read, the deployment of technical manpower is essential for effective and efficient equipment support in the field which is based on trust slash expertise of technicians. NEM is currently experiencing an acute shortage of manpower. <laughs> the diaret of manpower in corps is further compounded by the large number of voluntary discharged soldiers in recent years. Consequently, I am directed to request cons slash COs to reach out to discharged skilled soldiers in their AOR who are willing to be re-engaged to the Nigeria Army. The diaret of manpower in corps is further compounded by the large number of voluntary discharged soldiers in recent years. Consequently, I am directed to request cons slash COs to reach out to discharged skilled soldiers in their AOR who are willing to be re-engaged to the Nigeria Army on a contract basis. <laughs> the Zoo Army is now begging to recruit soldiers on contract basis. You, 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 you can't ask for more. You can't ask for more. This is the height of it. And they are not just asking, you know, foreigners to be recruited on contract basis. They are asking those who they believe are Zugarians and those who have already served and either 
voluntary discharge of course which is resignation or those who were expelled from the zoo terrorist army hmm? they are begging them to come now they said i am to add that names of discharged personnel willing to be re-engaged should be forwarded to these headquarters nlt 19 october 24 using the attached performer grateful to treat and acknowledge i am not a soldier so i don't care how it sounds or how i read it Wanatuku did not pick up calls put through to him and had yet to respond to the messages sent to him on this issue <laughs> why would he respond how comes you are expecting the criminal to respond he can never respond because they are all ashamed we have dealt with them a big blow the biafra defense forces are dealing with them we are dealing with them all over biafra land both in the sea in the coastal region in the creek or even in the hinterland <laughs> in the hinterland you get the gist <laughs> you get the gist the reverse is the case in the hinterland you can never wear a military or police uniform and in the hinterland of the afra terrorist now they continued speaking on the development brigadier general bashir adewimbi retired said the plan to re-engage retired soldiers was a good idea okay why wouldn't it be a good idea for you he said it is not unusual for retired army officers to come back and participate in the security architecture of a nation this practice is common in other advanced countries uh, who ask you if there is a plan to implement this here i believe it is a good idea ask what could be done to discourage soldiers from resigning from the service did you get that did you get that my people the idiot was asked what could be done to discourage soldiers from resigning so when i told you by the title of this very news that after being demoralized by the biafra defense forces are you feeling are you getting the point <laughs> now this okoko said ade wimbi said the military must ensure those enlisted were genuinely interested in the service oh okay so those who resigned were not genuinely interested in the service <laughs> um, okay, okay. i am reading this news not just with swag but with joy at the same time because our enemies are going down when you see your enemy going down you have no other reason than to rejoice praise the lord and even go offer offering he said as of today the military is well organized and well structured uh, am i expecting to hear any other thing from you are you not a retired zoo janjaweed soldier from uh, 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 you know para state <laughs> from para state muhammad adewimbi <laughs> oh, these are full and knee in, you know blood in the name of yoruba the welfare system is adequate and the training we received was never a source of complaint if as you said they are living in their numbers it suggests that something might be wrong with recruitment oh okay this focus should be on recruiting people who are genuinely interested in serving rather than those simply looking for employment because they have no other options <laughs> you see i said it just a couple of seconds ago i said it <laughs> that the Biafran people who are still in the zoo Janjawi terrorist army today are those who do no longer have any other option of survival and their top you know military officers those who are from Biafra land i told you i just said a couple of minutes ago now those truly dedicated to the military will remain regardless of the challenges or conditions they won't abandon their duty unfortunately some people in this country are merely searching for jobs <laughs> and he's not ashamed he is not even ashamed to say that the so-called ex-soldier is not ashamed to say that those who are serving the military in the military 
probably <laughs> serving their so-called country are those who are merely seeking for job that they are not there to serve the country they are just seeking for job you see he's not ashamed to say that and he was a, you know an ex-soldier probably a higher rank officer as at the time of his service hmm? so i don't want to continue reading this you have all seen it it is happening live and direct and of course the biafra that we all seek for is here if the military is crying like this how about the police remember a few months ago i gave you the news how the police in the old anambra state have been completely demoralized I also gave you another news that the police in the old Imo state have been completely demoralized. I told you, and it's happening. I'm reading this from Punch, not my own making. So you don't say it's a fake news. Aka will go for easy. And if you are a Biafra, I want you to rejoice because Nekwe Biafra, Neyurugi, Nekwe Ayina, Na, Nekwe Ayika Ayina, Na, Ayana Bago. Because the moment we eradicate the terrorists completely from our land, then uh, what else are we waiting for? <laughs> it is freedom. It is freedom. I have told you that Tinubu is not holding Biafrans. These people, these idiots are not holding Biafrans. Those who are doing business in Alaba are not the ones holding Biafrans. The people who are holding Biafrans are these people, these terrorists who are carrying AK-47 all over the places. Once they are being eradicated, the idiot in Asorok will have no option. He has no power. Can he come and fight? He can never fight. <laughs> oh, who's or danger cannot fight? A idiot to Solafufu, Nanketa cannot fight. When we manage to eradicate the terrorists in uniform who are carrying AK-47, you know, uh, massacring innocent Biafrans, then we are done. <laughs> Freedom are there by fire by force. Thank you, my people. Don't start the news here, corner a photo and make it go viral. Thanks for tuning in to Smart Okason TV show. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share to keep the intellect flowing.